All right. I just woke up not long ago, and we are getting a few stage reworks. One for Hammerhead Bridge, and another for Barnacle and Dime. I'm going to say right now, Barnacle and Dime looks fire. I think this might be a solid stage now, in like many modes. I'm not going to jump to conclusions, I'm going to analyze this in a minute. Same with Hammerhead Bridge, but Barnacle looks pretty good. I'm not too sure about Hammerhead Bridge though, because it is very bland <laughs> compared to the other one. Gonna have to theory craft and see what we can find out with this stuff. Which is what exactly I'm gonna do right now. I'm not wasting time. We're gonna end the game and we're having a really look at these stages because I want to theorize what we could potentially be getting for this. Starting with Hammerhead Bridge. So immediately straight off the bat, this upper section right here. I don't know what it could potentially be. I want to imagine this is a raised area right here. I'm not too sure what I think of it. It could be raised. Most likely the, this whole region back here is gonna get raised up. It's just a theory. All the stuff for Hammerhead Bridge specifically is gonna be a theory because it's very bland. I don't know what it's gonna be exactly. This area could get a change like um, with Mincemeat Metalworks. Oh, not Mincemeat Metalworks. Um, Undertow Spillway. Like how I said for the reworks of that one when, my, when I was theorizing it. That the, there's a ramp that could be added to it. Right here, I'm thinking this could be a raised elevation. Like either just a little bit higher or a ramp going up to here. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's might what they go for. It gives a bit more high ground pressure. Although at the same time, it does kind of make this a little weird. There seems to be an extension, a proper extension for this site. It's not as good as what I'd like it to be. Now you can go down here and the you have a bit of ground here that will go down to where that box is roughly that you can actually walk onto. So you'll be able to walk onto like an area that's like covering this entire region. If it's like a lower down section that doesn't connect here, you could jump between them potentially. That could be really good. Um, I do kind of wish that it connected back here so that way you had some safety to get to it. It's not that bad because when you're coming over here, you can safely do a squid roll like this and you can get across a bit faster. But if someone's like over here pressuring already or if there's like an Elia or like there or there, then they're gonna see you. So I do wish they made this section kind of loop around the back and you have two ways to go around. It would be very nice, but this could potentially work. This section right here, right over here, there could potentially be a new route. Apologies for my phone. There could, potentially, there could potentially be an entire new route right down here that connects this section right here. If you're sitting right here and you're stuck in this corner, instead of going back here, you can, if you wanted to, go down the right side and you can run over there now which could potentially be good considering how if you're over on the right side like let's just pretend I run over here with here you run down here you then have this area right here to use as control you have cover when you come up to here you can go over in the back here and you can pressure down below so you have a lot of different options there also seems to be a slight change here they might be getting rid of this I want to think they'll be getting rid of this um since it's highlighted in the thing I want to think that might, that's my way of doing it might open this up a bit more which could be interesting and then over on the right side i'm not too sure what they're doing here they're getting i think they might be getting rid of this block or they might make it inkable in this section that could be interesting they might raise it or lower it might make it too high this section right here is marked out this potentially could be a ramp or a set of stairs if this is a set of stairs this is good this is another route to get out instead of just running down to this one way drop you'd actually be able to jump back here now and since it's already pre-marked as well, it's the only pre-marked area on the ground, that could potentially mean something, which is really good. And then this whole section here, like the area going all the way back to here, and then all the way over here, and then down here a little bit, somewhere around here, this whole region seems like, or actually goes a bit further down, it goes all the way back to where the sponge is roughly. This area could potentially be getting something. I want to think it's this whole area getting a slight elevation range or raise. It could be that they're making a connection point from this area over here all the way over to here now. They could be making like this area a ramp like likewise of this. Um, put it right here and you go up the ramp and you're on high ground right here and you can go back all the way over there with a connected point. That is the best theory I have. It's the best inkling I have to that. Which if so, that's pretty good actually, but I think Hammerhead Bridge has a solid shell for it. I'm not gonna say too much about it. Unlike my Undertow Spellway reworks or my rework theories, I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna hold out for it. I'm just holding like hope for it. I'm well, at least it doesn't matter. I want to believe that this could be good, but I'm not gonna say anything about it. These are just my theories. 
since it's very limited what information we have. But Hammerhead's not the only stage we're getting reworks for. Barnacle and Dime is getting some massive overhaul. First things first, the spawn is getting a huge overhaul in many places. And starting from right here, this whole section right here is now going to be high ground. And this inkable wall is going to be pretty much along this entire section right here. It might not go all the way back here. I think they're going to cut this section out. But it's going to go to like right here. And you'll now have this area up here. This grate is going to get removed. And this block is going to be moved back here and made two wide instead of one wide. There's going to be a whole extension going right here that's going to go all the way down to about here. Same height as that. So now, likewise with the undertow reworks, you have a right side that can go to a lower ground or a high spot that is good. Basically, high ground above high ground. Extension on the side to counteract a very campy spot, which is brilliant. Also makes it very easy to pressure. This block is getting a slight height change with well, becoming too high now. That block there is becoming a single block, the looks of it. There seems to be a slight change here with the grounding right here. And it's gonna have a wee slight elevation with a wee ramp going to the side here that will go up like this. So this whole area here, a slight extension, and that could be pretty good. I'm not too sure if there's anything else changed too much over here. It looks like there might be more ground, potentially. This block is gonna get a slight height boost. But other than that, there's nothing much over here specifically, except for the fact that this glass bridge is no longer glass. This bridge is fully inkable now. It's gonna continue the wood section going all the way down to here. And potentially, this block right here, by the looks of it, could be inkable from all sides now. So that means that side here, the one that was uninkable from the start of when it was released, could now be a scootable spot to get all the way up. Because you can very much get up here very easily with that. But you can't because it's uninkable. So hopefully, they'll change that. And that can make the stage very, very good. They've also moved this block over to here, by the looks of it. They've made this block too high. And I think that's it. It comes with all this. Actually, no, they removed the sponge here as well. Oh, not sponge, the pillow. They removed the pillow from right here. Coming over to the left side now, there is a huge amount of changes that are going to be making this a lot better. This section of the wall here, specifically this section here, excluding this, is going to be removed. And this grate is going to be pulled over, making this a very wide section. So now you've got more pressure to stand, like, right here, which is great. It looks like they are going to be moving the ramp to the middle of it now giving it more ground. I'm not too sure about that right side, but they're going to be moving this section over to here, and they're going to make... I think they're going to make this section right here high ground. I'm not too sure exactly. It's hard to tell, but it looks like they're making, like, this section, like, raised up a bit to about where that is right there. So basically, something like along the lines like this, like, the low ground and then the high ground. The low ground and then the high ground. Something like this, so you can just jump up like that. On the topic of this specific spot right here, they're also giving it some small changes. I think they're going to make this area specifically right here in the corner, like, a little bit higher, so they might make it a little bit taller. And I'm not too sure if it's exactly how I'm thinking it might be, but they might be making this a tiny overpass, just like one block wide, about right here. So basically, like with under, likewise with Undertow Spellweight, you can just run underneath it like this, and you have a bit of cover. So you can still do some pressure, you can still go over here and do some stuff. But it's a lot um, more secretive. But you can still get pressure from this spot, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be neat. They've also made this wall here a single block, similar to how that block up there is going to get changed. It's going to be two blocks tall by one by one. And they're extending this section right here, I'm pretty sure, making it a little bit wider. I could be wrong, but I think they might be either extending it a little bit, or they'll be just making it, it just, it's just a bit different. On the topic of the left side though, before I get onto this lower section right here, there is the biggest change of this entire map, and that is all of this ground right here, roughly, going all the way to what looks to be about here, I think, roughly where that wall ends. I'm not entirely sure, but that, that's what it looks to be. All of that there is going to be low ground now, meaning you do not have to go around this awkward corner and have to circle all the way here just to get into the flank. You can now avoid this entire stack right here, this entire choke point, you can now avoid and you can just go all over there and you cannot get caught out by many things going that direction. It's actually looking like a pretty solid flank, considering, number one, you've got mass low ground right here. This section's going to be raised up a little bit by the looks of it, but it looks like you can just jump straight down into it, roughly, like, I think it's actually like right around there, so a bit low ground here and you can go all the way over there. Not to mention, all the way up here 
for, um, connected to this high ground section that I talked about before. A grate is going to connect from about here. And it's going to go all the way over to a pillar, roughly about here. And that pillar, assumably, is going to be inkable from the back. Meaning, you have some defense, and you actually have some roots to get out of that ditch. And it's not just a convoluted hole that you can just get stuck in. Likewise, like it is over there in a way. Actually, now that I'm more about it, the low ground actually is actually going to go all the way over to here as well. So this is actually going to be the low ground section right here. I think it's going to be raised up like this. So forget what I said about the whole section before. I think it's going to be changed like that. But the low ground is going to have a route to get out of it, which is awesome. And it'll go straight back up here, meaning you can escape it. I think the wall's not going to be inkable. I think it's going to stay uninkable like it is now. So we'll go back over here. I think it's going to stay uninkable like all the way around here. But there is going to be an inkable block that you can jump up. So similar to how this is like right here, we can just go like that and just hop up, which is awesome. With this flank specifically, they are changing this entire section by the looks of it. This whole left side, like I said before, is going to be going away. And same with this pillow, I'm going to be gone. But in exchange of that, they're going to be adding a small inkable block here. Just like a wee two by one block again, like what I said with that, like here. It's going to be uninkable from the back here, but inkable from this side and this side. Meaning, you can now do a squid roll up on top of this wall, making it much more flexible and adding a bit more cover to this side here, considering it's very easy to catch it out with this snipe area. Also alongside this wee block right here, you also have a tiny block right here that's going to get added just for cover. That's going to extend onto the wall and a two block section right here. So meaning, you don't have to just sit behind this cover block right here. You can just run all the way over here and you can sit up here or you can sit down here and you can use it as like a right side peak now, which is awesome. More cover in mid is brilliant. Back over to the right side, there are a couple more changes regarding this whole lowdown section and the stack, I'm pretty sure. Namely, number one, you don't have a pillow here anymore. You've got, kind of like with Mint Metal Metalworks, you've got a few blocks here that are inkable from the back side, I'm pretty sure, but uninkable from the front side. Meaning, if you were to be sitting in mid, you can't really oppress this by going up against it and then climbing up the wall. You are going to have to go around to hit the back of it. There's also some wee ingle patches, looks like, on top. So that would be pretty good just to sit on top of it and you have a bit of high ground. Just to kind of match this section right here and, of course, a bit more cover makes it better as well. Slightly changed and it looks good. On top of that as well, we're getting a pole update with us as well. There is a pole over there with the left side, but it looks like this right side could be getting a pole either down here or up Right about here, I think. I think it's going to be down here, though, just for a second cover. Which is going to be nice. I think it'll be a nice little cover. It's kind of small and almost insufficient, but at the very least, it's still more cover. So it could be alright. The final change for this entire stage is going to be a minor change to middle. I don't exactly know what's going to be completely changed about this ground section. It looks like it might be raised up or changed somehow, but I'm not too sure about that. But one thing I am starting is that this box right here is getting some minor changes to its terrain. Giving you more options to squirrel on top of it, like lines like this. And also just, I guess, more cover from like the back section right here. So you can actually like, peek over top now instead of having to like awkwardly like left side peek this. So that's nice. And yeah, I think that is most of the changes that will be given for both Hammerhead Bridge and Barnacle and Dime. I have got supreme confidence in Barnacle and Dime. Not too sure about Hammerhead Bridge, I'll let them cook, but I have a good faith in this. I feel like if they're going to do something similar to what I have thought of for both the stages, or at least for Hammerhead Bridge's sake, but if, they, if, my, if my idea for it is kind of on par with what they want to do, which I really hope it is, then we could be really, really eating this season. We could be getting a solid stage with the new Metro stage bringing into the game, as well as two solid reworks. One for a pretty bad stage and one for a very, very mid stage on launch, which is ironic because many people had hopes this was going to be a huge, it was going to be a really good stage in like many modes. I was not one of those people and my expectations were completely met exactly how I thought. It was maybe a bit better than I thought, but it still was pretty met. This could completely change the vision of what the stage could be like, and I think it could be good. We could have a really good stage, and this will be one of the best things this Splatoon could ever get in its entire lifetime. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I wasn't planning on making it too long. Well, it's probably pretty long by the time because I've recorded it for about 30 minutes, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, I'm still busy with my stuff, if you're wondering. I am trying to work it out. But, I'm getting on top of it. 
There'll be no stream this weekend, so don't expect me to go live. Until whenever something new comes out that's going to be important enough for me to make a video on. Probably going to be the new season with the stage reworks and the new stage. Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching the video, and I will see you all in the next video. So see you guys later. Bye-bye.